Let's dive in and talk about circles, page four and five on page 1129. Page kind of looks like this, and they have drawn some circles. Of course, uh, hopefully you know this. This is not anything new to you. The very center of the circle, and these first several is going to be zero, zero. But then do you remember that the radius is always the distance from the center out to the edge? So that radius, that radius, all of these are radii. So the plural of one radius is two or more radii. But all of these radii will be the same length, okay? So the radius from the center to here will be the same as from the center out to this side and from here down to here and from the center up to the top and at any point along here that that length that distance will be the same so the radius <clears throat> the diameter that's actually pretty simple the diameter is always two times whatever the radius is now here's a very simple formula if we have it in the form x squared plus y squared okay and then it equals some number, this is the formula of a circle where the center is always, always, always zero, zero, okay? So if it's just x squared and y squared, the center is zero. The radius is going to be the square root of whatever this number is. So in the pace here, <clears throat> At the top of page five, they show one where x squared plus y squared equals 12. So then we would just use our calculator and do the square root of 12, which works out to be 3.46. All right, let's do one from our homework and just get you started here. Notice we have an x squared and a y squared. That's a clue, but we don't have it in this form. So I wanna bring the y squared to the left. So x squared plus y squared. I'm gonna take the 18 to the other side. All right, now let's get the, my calculator out. Check this on yours as well. So if I plug in 18 and hit the square root, I get 4.24, is that what you get? Okay, so this means that the center will be zero, zero. This radius would be 4.24. And then the diameter is gonna be twice this. So I can do this in my head, woohoo. Okay. <laughs> now we're supposed to graph that. So we put the center at zero. And then if we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if they give you graph paper, you're gonna look at the radius being just a little bit past four, so maybe right here. And then you go up one, two, three, four, it's just a little bit past there, a little bit past four, a little bit past four, and then, and I'm not doing a very good job drawing this, but you would connect those, okay? Um, if you want to be really careful, if you have a compass, you can pull your compass out and spread it out so that the point is here and the pencil is out here, and then draw the circle on there and that would look super sharp, okay? <clears throat> this lesson's not too bad. They just give you a few problems to do and then we'll come back and talk about what if the center is not at zero, zero?